eye's not the real right arm. It's all because a magician, baby. It's all smoke and mirrors. You hit nothing. The nigga caught his arm. You nasty. Hey, if you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like. Full reaction, full discussion will be on Patreon. On a hundred reactions coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty Cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. What up, you nasties? It's your man behind the can, Director, here with another Hunter Hunter reaction, episode 31 and 32. In the last set of reactions, oh my god, been gone and killer. These boys, the potential that they have between them, like I understand Wing. When Wing is like, what have I done? What have I awakened between? What have I created or brought into this world? But Killer makes a good point. He's like, listen, bro, where we're going, we were gonna have to learn these crazy powers, these these ten nen zen, all this. We we're gonna have to learn this with what we want to do in this world, anyways. You can either let us find out the hard way and be dangerous, or you can finish what you started. Either way, we got to go down this path. And we see Kropika's going through something similar where he's trying to get work with just his hunter's license. He's over here like... <laughs> they're like, that's cute, but the test isn't over. Have you ascended? Can you see this? He couldn't see. He got to go get the training. Luckily for Kropika, he ran, he ran into somebody who looks like they might take them under his wing. I'm still a little bit fearful just a tiny bit that it could be a trap it could be you know no actually no they did a good job of letting us know it's not a trap he had the license already he could have just walked off with it so i think kapika is going to get to learn some you know some then himself i'm excited moving forward because honestly one if they're going to time jump some of this training or if we're going to be in the thick of it still two aspects he could work on without working on then so as we saw when uh when uh killer got back they went right into it meditate flow state get it so we're gonna jump right into the set so with that being said if you made it this far and you haven't already go ahead drop a sub on the channel drop a like full reaction full discussion will be on patreon check the description for the patreon link and of course the twitch link where you can find me every monday and friday hunter hunter episode 31 32 reactions coming up next How is he healed up already? I'm a him. Oh, hell yeah. Wow, look at a good homie. Eight and three with six KOs? Wait, he's lost three matches? Oh. Oh. They covered it. Four points total. He got knocked down? Who knocked him down? He's gonna fight Hisoka. He's gonna fight Hisoka here. Oh, the same guy. He's sponsored for three. Who has the other one? Oh, so it's a known thing. This is like a Conor McGregor versus uh, uh, what's his name? What? It's not okay? What? It's just a watch. We're going to that fight, right? Ten 
10 every day, okay. Mmm, tranquil river. Yeah, I wanna watch that shit. The Grim Reaper Magician. His one loss of Hisoka. Hisoka kind of needs to win, right? Because if he gets four, he's done. Oh, God. What are you about to do, killer? Why didn't you just shade step past him? Wow, damn, damn. Damn, damn impressive. Ooh. Damn. Damn. That was a lot of flex in there, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, clean hit, dog. He don't faint. I got it. I was watching this time, guys. Yeah, Hisoka can't lose this match. That'll be four losses. You can't do it that many times, bro. He's going to see. Graceful. Yo, Hisoka's really getting tapped. Put the ties. Damn, he's a die ignorant. Oh, he's hyper concealing his presence. He's fast, but what he's doing is he's leaving his presence, erasing it, and then reappearing it, right? It's like one of those things like... He said, I'll take your arm with my next strike. Oh, 
Bible to Tiger Bite for some more. Tiger Bite Fist? Oh no, he's not. Oh my god. That's not the real right arm. It's all because a magician, baby. It's all smoke and mirrors. You hit nothing. Creating a double? He can project his aura? Yo, I was not prepared for this. Yo, Shadi got me tripping. Come on, Wing. Tell me, Wing. Educate me, Master. Ooh. Oh, he's literally Wait, so he is actually making it That's what you're trying to tell me Is he moving his consciousness from the original to the doppelganger? Crazy. He really is. Wow. Yo, this man literally uses his Nen to create a whole second version of him using his own light force. Wild. I feel like I was underestimating what Nen you can actually do. Like, the bounds of Nen don't even exist in my mind anymore. So that was chapter 31 of Hunter Hunter. Listen, man. I, I think I said it in the reaction when Casey got cut out. I have been grossly underestimating the abilities and the uses of Nen. In my mind, because I really have only seen like, you know, Genjutsu Nen, and like m even my base understanding. Y'all saw me struggling with knowing what the four exercises were not even 20 minutes ago. My base understanding is like just completely blown out the water. The explanation and hearing that this guy, this man can duplicate himself using his life force of Nen to create literally a double ganger of himself. Not a clone, not a twin, not an illusion. It exists in the actual realm of our existence. Like, what the hell? That's wild to me. Absolutely wild to me. 
and watching Hisoka get his arm cut off, but still catch it, I laughed. I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm not supposed to laugh, laugh, I laughed. That's the reaction, deal with it. But I still see he has, he has his 10 going around it. So I'm pretty sure he's still gonna be able to attach it, he's gonna be fine. With Gon's regenerative abilities, I see that, you know, losing a limb and sticking it right back on, getting stitched up and healing, that's not gonna be out of the question. I'm not even worried about Hisoka's arm. Uh, Killer had an early run-in, right? He had a really early run-in with him. And it was one of those things where it was like, the moment he encountered him, it was like, it was almost like, yeah, man, you don't, you don't even, you don't even stand a chance. It was like, it was like, yo, it's so far away from what you're used to. Hold on, I'm trying to, what's this? Castro, Castro was his name. Yeah, Castro, as soon as Killer was going up to Castro to see him in the room and he literally got jumped from behind, it set the precedence immediately. This guy's the real deal. Killer's like, I just want to see if he was legit. And he showed us just by talking, he's like, hmm. He's like, he's like, your uh, he said your Zetsu was good, but it's weird if somebody of your caliber just kind of disappears from existence. And the moment you enter my floor, it's like you should have done it before you even got up. But he's like, wait, you're attracting me since then? He's like, of course. I'm tracking all my competition, baby. What the hell you think this is? Yo, Castro's a dope character. I like what he has to offer. But because of the records, and I noticed they said that outright, right? Hisoka can't lose this fight. If Hisoka loses this fight, he's done. He's eight and four. That's four losses before you get to 10 wins. Hisoka's not losing this. Castro got to lose. Castro's nine and one. He can afford a loss. Seeing Hisoka lose here would kind of throw off the storyline, in my opinion, because I think, I think that Hisoka's 10th win is going to be against Gon. I don't know why, but I feel like Gon's waiting. Gon's gonna challenge Hosoka to a fight too early, and Hosoka's gonna accept the fight, take it, become a floor guardian. That's my random shot in the dark. I don't know if that's gonna be true or not, but that's just where I think it's going. Um, but just coming back to focus, Gon unfortunately couldn't go to the match, which is fine. He's gonna have to watch or get it from second hand. Just crazy. This is crazy. I wasn't expecting half of this. I'm upset Gon couldn't go, but it's fine. They sent Killa, and Killa's actually a much better analyzer because he's actually experienced. Gon would just be sitting there getting a bunch of shit explained to him. Um, it, that, that was wild. Absolutely wild. I just, I just, like, it was one of those things where, like, I was fully prepared for this reaction. I'm like, yeah, woohoo, Hunter, Hunter. And then literally the episode sucked the air out of me because I don't even know how to put some of this awesomeness into words. It's just like, whoa. Fire. A lot of nuances to be taken away from this. I'm a hell of excited to see how everybody else individually uses Nen. Now that I hear some, that I've seen some of the things that can happen and some of the things you could do, my mind is just open to the different possibilities of what I'm gonna see people do at Nen. Big time. You know, oh man. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. With that being said, we're going to jump right into the next one, episode 32. So if you've made it this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video, uh, check out the Patreon, link is in the description. Episode 32 reactions coming up right now. Oh my god, he's really just spinning it. I mean, he is a magician. You know, it's crazy. The more I think about it, after hearing how many people have actually hit and scored a point on Hisoka, to think that Gon is just trying to land one hit on him would put him on this guy's level. No? Give your number, add four, and double the result. After that, subtract six and divide by two. I've heard this trick. No way he's gonna pull his fucking arm out. I thought he's gonna pull another hand out. <laughs> she kills me, bro. 
It counts as zero. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have slapped the card. Damn. I knew it. I mean, yeah, but you still don't know how. Bingo. You had the talent to become a skilled opponent. The dancer stuff to death. Here it is. Damn. 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 Nope. He punched him with a dismembered arm. No, he's dead. Why? Oh, the blow to the head. Ah. Damn. Like, I knew he was going to win, but bruh. Quality. He watched the whole fight in his head. Did he shadow box on some Baki shit? So. Oh, he did really lose both arms. Oh no, he real life. His aura kept it fresh. Oh, this is fire, bro. Nen stitches. Surgical. Left muscles, bones, nerves, basically all completely connected. Wow, wow, wow. Yo, is this where Leorio's headed? Oh, 
Yo, he's simping on shoddy. 20 million for left, 50 for the right. Check your surprise. You should. Holy cow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He has bungee gum. So he can make his aura sticky and spread it. Or sticky and spread it. Sticky and spread it. He combines aura with imagery. He reads his appearance of skin. High quality cop. Wild, bro. Wow. I wanted to know, though. Yes! Show me the magic! Amazing. Amazing. He didn't even see. He's all parallel processing all of this at the same time. Incredible. Anybody could have seen it. Oh,ね。This is wild shit. Psychological warfare. Gotta remember things imbued with Nen deal way more damage. 
Incredible fight. I know. <laughs> he never talks. He's his own man. Damn, that's a massive number four. There's three people ahead of you, buddy. He's number four. What the hell? Yo, so that's episode 32 of Hunter Hunter. My mind is blown! Hisoka, the magician. Boy, oh boy. His, his flair, his agility, his ability, his, his quick thinking, all of it put together. Hisoka is such a problem. It's unreal. Hisoka is such a problem. Do you remember the guy from the from the hunter exam arc who's masquerading as a member of the phantom troop and you remember back then what i said i said the problem is when you're faking me and phantom troop is twofold one on one side people are going to think you're part of the phantom troop and want to fight you aka kapika but the other side of it is if people in the phantom troop find out that you're faking like you're in the phantom troop you're they gonna come after you too Hisoka is so powerful in his own mind, I should say, because I think he's powerful. I don't know if he's take on the Phantom True powerful. He's he's not even a member, or he's masquerading. It said he's masquerading as a member, meaning he's pretending like he's with them, but he's not really with them. The first chance he gets, he's going at number one. That's what I'm understanding. That's what I think I'm hearing. So for me, it's such an interesting dynamic to see which, what at what length he's willing to go through to prove that he's number one? Whew. Crazy. Jumping back to the fight with uh, Castro. Yeah. Um, I am so glad they had Ahsoka explain the whole thing out. First things first. The Nen stitches, it looked beautiful technique. I really hope that's what Liario is going to learn how to do. I want to see, we see all, we see Gon and Killer are learning then. Uh, Kurpika, I, I think he got taken under somebody's wing. I would like to see if Liario is going to get to that place too. I would love to see him be able to do this. Um, That looked beautiful. But two, Ahsoka's bubble gum or uh, bungee gum uh, ability put together with the, with the, with the, with the task masking. Oh, it's so versatile. Like, I love it when people think, take things that aren't overly complicated, but use them in such a convoluted and a complicated way to be able to create something that most of us can't even fathom or imagine. I think Ahsoka is gonna end up being one of my favorite characters. I don't, I don't, I like that. It's weird that he, 
His vibe is weird, but his ability is not to be questioned. I really, really like Ahsoka. His ability is dope. His drip is dope. His fucking theme music is fire. Yeah, I think I like Ahsoka. Fuck. I can't believe I just said that out loud. But that, that was something else. That was something else. Beautiful fight. Poor Castro. I do feel bad for Castro, but at the same time, he did a classic, he did a classic thing that a lot of people do. He hyper-focused on just his special ability and left all the basics to the wayside. All the basics to the point. He left the basics to the wayside to the point. He was just not using basic Ren to be able to detect all these little aura points that his soak was leaving around. It's wild. It's wild. You got to remember, although you're working on something special, you cannot ignore the basics. Remember the basics always. And this was a that this was a this was a lesson in that. Learn the basics, stick to the basics, but build on the basics. Fire. Absolutely fire episode. Um I said something earlier along the lines of in this battle, in this in this battle in this Haven's Arena, right? Ahsoka's only been knocked down once. He's only given up four total points. One knockdown, three clean hits. Three of them was to the person he just defeated. Mind you, he gave up critical hit. He gave up a couple things, but it was all in the spirit of showmanship, in my opinion, right? So it's like, what I'm hearing is for Gone to land one punch, one punch on Ahsoka, he needs to, at the very least, at the very least, be as strong as Castro was. Oh boy. Whew. It's gonna be tough moving forward. I thought it was funny Killa came into the room and he tried to lie to Gon. Cause I think Killa, and maybe I'm just speaking out my neck here. I think Killa was like, if I tell Gon exactly how magnificent this fight is, he's only gonna be itching to fight Hisoka more. I need to lie to him and just placate him until we could until we could figure out a plan. And then he decided, he's like, nah, 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 I'ma tell him. He's like, bro, it was amazing. But before we go fight Hisoka, all this told me is, yo, we need to learn more about Nen. We need to learn more about Nen before we even question, even think about fighting Hisoka. And I think Killer's right. Killer's instincts are usually dead spot on. It's gone we have to worry about who's always pushing the envelope because he has this reckless abandonment in his mind. I'm pretty sure he gets it from his daddy. I'm going to blame the daddy because his mama, I don't know who his mama is, but his auntie looks very, like, she's very... You know, she's very nice and reserved. But God has this tick, boy. We saw when he was when he was meditating, when he realized he couldn't go to the fight, he was trying to meditate. That tick was crazy, man. Awesome, awesome set of episodes. The Soka's the GOAT. There, I said it. Um, I'm excited to see Killers and Gons come up. I want to know what's going on with Kapika, what's going on with Liorio, because that once I saw that Nen stitching, I was like, we found something Liorio could do. And I'm almost positive that's not all you can do with this Nen stitching or le learning medical Nen. I can only imagine. Oh my God. Can you imagine if you use like some Ren to see like somebody's inner workflow over the arteries and stuff is, and then you can use some hot suit to at least right into a pressure point on your opponent. And you just like literally cause like cardiac arrest or you cause like, oh man, wild. The things you could do with Nen are so wide open right now. And I thank Hisoka and Castro for showing me that I was thinking real small time, man. I wish I could explain to you what I was actually thinking. But compared to what I saw just in this first full-fledged fight with real Nen, deep understanding Nen users, boy, mm, 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 mm. I'm highly excited for the rest of this arc. With that being said, Gone is fully healed. He has one month left before he could start getting back in the Nen. He got two months left before he... Before he must take another fight or he needs a forfeit or he's going to be in trouble. We got time, baby. Oh, we got time. I like the time jump to make sure, you know, things are moving at an okay pace. But also, we need to know, you know, content updates and progress checks. So, I'm a hell of excited for what's to come. With that being said, if you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like. Full reaction, full discussion will be on Patreon. Check the description for the Patreon link and, of course, the Twitch link where you can find me every monday and friday 7 p.m eastern uh the patreon has uncut unreleased hunter hunter and other anime reactions so make sure you check that out too uh i'm your man behind the cam and as always yo stay nasty
You nasty.